Welcome to the Minnesota Department of Veterans Affairs, or MDVA, working to serve the 360,000 veterans living in Minnesota. If you are a veteran, we want to thank you for your military service. The scope in which we serve veterans reaches far and wide. During the next few minutes, you will see brief examples of the deep impact we, as a cabinet-level state agency, have on the lives of our state's veterans and their families. The commissioner of MDVA has a direct connection with Minnesota's governor. The commissioner and his or her deputy commissioners of programs and services and veterans health care work to provide a multitude of services. Our highest level of leadership is in lockstep with our state's top decision makers. The Minnesota Department of Veterans Affairs operates under seven specific goals. To promote self-sufficiency and personal responsibility through a safety net of benefits and services. Supply representation to clients pursuing claims for federal veterans benefits. Ensure a smooth transition for veterans from military service to civilian life. Provide the highest quality of programs for housing, health care and supportive services to residents of the five Minnesota veterans homes. Ensure the most timely, cost-effective delivery of benefits and services. Provide dignified and compassionate burial services at the Minnesota State Veterans Cemetery. Provide leadership and direction to the veterans community by collaborating with public and private service providers. These goals fall under two core program areas, veteran services and veterans health care. Veteran services account for about 11% of our overall budget expenditures. 89% of our budget goes to the Veterans Health Care Program. Whichever program area, the veterans' needs are served. As their needs change, the programs and services available change right along with them. One of the ways we reach veterans is through the higher education benefits they have earned through their service to the country. Either through their GI Bill entitlements or with campus outreach, connections are made. Whether they are new students or returning students, once on campus at any of the state's two or four year colleges and universities, veterans can be quickly and easily introduced to their County Veterans Service Officer, or CVSO. CVSOs are located in every county and provide a vital informational link to help veterans understand, apply for, and receive benefits available to them, benefits they've earned. The logical and necessary step after a veteran receives his or her education benefits is employment. Through various partnerships with DEED, the Interagency Employment Working Group, and other local ties, the Minnesota Department of Veterans Affairs works to provide employment assistance to thousands of veterans each year. Throughout a veteran's life, they are entitled to health care, programs, and other benefits provided through the federal U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. The system didn't set out to be complicated, but as the needs of veterans has expanded and evolved, it can seem overwhelming to use. We are here to help represent veterans as they navigate this complex system in order to help ensure they receive the benefits that they have earned through their service. We have been busy. Annually, the department handles over 6,500 office walk-ins and assists in approximately 18,000 federal compensation and pension decisions. Whether it is veteran facing or behind the scenes work advocating on behalf of veterans at the Capitol, MDVA is here to work with veterans and their families, ensuring their claims are processed, the system works with and for them, and they are not left without answers, treatment, or needed care. Later in life, veterans may face hardships which make it difficult to stay in their homes, keep their electricity on, or their vehicles running. The State Soldiers Assistance Program is one of many state benefits that make a difference in the lives of Minnesota veterans and their families. In fact, in recent years, this program helped to allow hundreds of veteran families stay in their homes. At some point in our lives, we may all face a difficult decision. Perhaps you have a parent or grandparent who's been through this recently. With five state veterans homes across the state in Fergus Falls, Hastings, Laverne, Minneapolis, and Silver Bay, veterans are often able to find care near their homes and are able to spend the final chapter of their lives being taken care of by a group of dedicated and caring providers. Person-centered care defines our approach to caring for our state's heroes. 
Gone are the impersonal days of a care model that didn't allow for relationships between resident and employee. Person-centered care provides a family-style setting, one that allows for residents to interact in small common gathering areas and family rooms. Food is in kitchens near the resident's room. This leads to a care model that we think is second to none. The service we provide doesn't end when a veteran passes. For many, the funeral services available through the State Veteran Cemetery in Little Falls allow friends and family to gather one more time to remember and honor the life of their veteran and our hero. There is more, so much more, to the Minnesota Department of Veterans Affairs than these few minutes can introduce you to. Our job, no matter where it is, no matter what its function, is a thread that binds one of our 360,000 veterans and their families to services they rely on, services they've earned.